All right, this is lesson 42 for seventh grade, and today we're talking about repeating decimals. Uh, we have a, a certain way that we can write decimals that have a repeated pattern, so we're going to look at that today. And basically what we want to do here today is review some long division. Uh, we'll also want to uh, relate our long division to, uh, if we do type it into a calculator, uh, realize what the calculator is trying to show us when we get an answer. Uh, we want to look for patterns in our decimals. And we learn, want to learn how to write repeated decimals in a simple form. Okay, so let's kind of jump in and see what we're looking at here. All right, it says, when a decimal number is divided, the division sometimes ends with the remainder of zero. Uh, the answer that results is called the terminating decimal. So a terminating decimal um, is basically when you get a decimal number that ends, or if you get a whole number or something like that. So uh, 1.5. That's a, a terminating decimal. Uh, 2.0 would be a terminating decimal. Okay, excuse me. However, at other times, the division will not end with a remainder of zero. Instead, the answer will have one or more digits in a pattern that repeats indefinitely. And here are two examples of that. Okay, so they've got our long division going here. And this is 43 divided by 6. Okay, so they get 6 goes into 43 seven times, seven times six is 42. Subtract 43, uh, 42 from 43, you get a one. And we drop down our zero, put our decimal up here. Now six goes into 10 once. One times six is six. And we get 10 minus six is four, drop the zero down, and we get 40. Six goes into 40 six times. Six times six is 36. Subtract these two, we get a four again. And you can see, we're going to keep getting 40s and 36s as we go. So this pattern that we have here is 6s. The 6s will keep repeating. And they will go on indefinitely. They will go on forever. So 7.1, 6, and then the 6 repeats forever. This one, I won't go through it as uh, rigorously. You can take a look at it on your own. Um, but the 3 doesn't repeat, but the 1 and the 8 keep repeating. That's when we take... 3.5 divided by 11. Okay, so we can see that to get the 1 and the 8, we're going to alternate between uh, getting 11 here and 88. And we get um, the same numbers repeated over and over again in, a, in, a, in that fashion. So here just the 6 repeated, here the 1 and the 8 repeat. Now, uh, the repeating digits of a decimal. Um, are called the repetend. So in 7.1666, uh, the repetend is 6. In uh, 0 0.31818 and so forth, the repetend is 18, not 81. Okay? Um, one way to indicate that a decimal number has repeating digits is to write the number with the bar over the repetend where it first appears to the right of the decimal point. So for example, a shorter way to write this out would be to put this bar over the 6, because that's the thing that repeats. So the bar over the 6 tells me that we're going to have 7.1, and then 6s that go on forever. Here, we're going to put uh, the, the repeating, uh, the repetition symbol, or the bar, over the 1 and the 8, because the 1 and the 8 are the only things that repeat, and we see that we get a 1 first before we get an 8. So, 1, 8, 1, 8, 1, 8. And that's why the bar is over those two. We do not include the three in this one. We do not include the seven and the one in this one. The bar only goes over the things that repeat. So let's rewrite each of these quick here. So rewrite uh, each of these repeating decimals with the bar over the rep thing. So A, what seems to be repeating? Well, the three does. So I'm going to say this equals zero. Point zero eight three with a bar over the 3. Ooh, this one looks a little funky, but let's, uh, let's see if we get the repetition here. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, nothing yet. But if we look here, from here to here, I think we get that again. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. So, 
this one will keep going on. Um, it doesn't look like it has repetition at first, but we have to be careful because it actually does. So this equals 5.4, wait, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. And those are all the things that would repeat. So then once we got past the 7 again, we'd start over with a 1. Okay? So that's what that means. Alright? Now let's take a look at C. So just to reiterate, uh, we do have to be careful and make sure that we notice the pattern if it's there. Letter C, 454. Point. Looks like our 5 and 4 keep repeating. Okay? Now, um, we don't we don't put the the bar over anything. We only put it over the decimal parts. So we can see that we have um, four, five, four here, and yes, those are repeated, but we start where to the right of the decimal. That's where we look at the the repeated stuff. So if it repeats on this side of the decimal to the left doesn't matter. Um, but over here in the decimal world, uh, that's where we look at the repetition. So five four five four five four, and that's where we would write that. All right. Okay. Now we could also do this. Round each number to five decimal places. Okay. Five decimal places means five places to the right of our decimal. So first of all, let's just write these out to six spots. This is 5.316. And the sixes are going to keep repeating. So one, two, three spots, four spots, five spots, six spots. So right now, this is six spots to the right of our decimal. Wait. Uh, no, six decimal spots is what where we're at right now. And we want to round the fifth one. So we look at six here. And if that is five or above, we're gonna round this up. And it is five or above. So we're gonna round it up. Okay? So this would be our rounded answer right there. Let's take a look at B. We'll write this one out to six decimal spots. Four zero five. This whole thing's being repeated, so I'll write it again. Four zero five. So one, two, three, four, five, fifth spot. Look at that. That is five or above as well. So twenty-five point four zero five four and round it up to a one. Okay. Now when I mentioned the calculator earlier, if you type some of these things into a calculator, like if you do a division problem in your calculator. Um, your calculator might round at the end. Let's take this one right here. It, maybe your calculator fits nine digits on it. Five, five, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this would be your ninth digit. Calculator is probably going to write it like this. <clears throat> you should know or be able to realize that the calculator can only fit so many digits on the screen. So it's going to round at the end. So you might see a seven here, but you should know that this six actually repeats, okay? Or, uh, or be aware that that's probably the situation that you have. Uh, so just because your calculator says this, uh, this actually means the six goes on forever. Um, but the calculator's uh, told to round at that point, okay? just like we can do as well. But we need to realize that this actually means six goes on forever. All right, I'm gonna erase these here and then we'll compare and then arrange with our decimals. Okay, so we wanna compare 0 0.3 to 0 0.33333 basically. So let's look at it like this. 0 0.30 is over here and 0 0.33, so this keeps going on forever. It'll keep going with threes. Now what's gonna be bigger? Well, let's look at our place value. 
tens, we have the same number. So we're going to go to the next one, look at our hundredths. Which one's bigger in the hundredths place? Uh, this one's bigger in the hundredths place, because remember this means three repeated. This one's going to be bigger. Okay. This one's not repeated, so it's 0 0.30. Alright. Now I want to arrange these in order. So let's look at these. 0 0.666. Keeps going. This is 0 0.60. And this is 0 0.65. Let's look at place value here. They all have a 6 in the tens. Tenths. Tenths, sorry. Now let's look at the hundreds. Six, zero, and a five. Okay? Well, the smallest one is the one that has a zero in the tenths place, or hundredths place, sorry. Jeez, alright, so we've got tenths. Now we went over to the hundredths, so would be the double underline. Uh, it's Monday, a little spacey, I guess. So zero point six is our first one. Uh, 0 0.65 is our next biggest, and 0 0.6 repeated is our largest one. Because looking at the hundredths place, 0 is our smallest number, 5 is the next biggest, 6 is the next biggest after that. So that would be our order right there. Alright. Let's see if we've got more here. We do. I believe this is our last example. I want to see what time we have left. So let me check. Alright, about three minutes. So, uh, we're going to divide 11 by 1.5. And write motion with a bar, and then also round it to the nearest hundred. And I will go through this quick. Divide 1.5 by 11. Alright. 11 does not go into 1, but it does go into 15 once. 1 times 11, subtract, we get 4, add some zeros here, drop our 0 down, 40, 11 goes in there 3 times, 3 times 11 is 33, subtract, we get 7, drop our 0, 70, 11 goes in the 70, 6 times, 66, 4, drop a 0, 40, 11 goes in there 3 times, 3 times 11 is 33, subtract, we get 7, drop our 0, we get 70 again, goes in there 6 times, we should be able to see our pattern now, alright, uh, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, that's probably what we're going to keep getting, that is what we're going to keep getting, 0 0.1, and just over the 3 and the 6, 1 is not repeated, but the 3 and the 6 are, okay? Now what we want to do is round that uh, to the nearest hundredth. Yes, okay, that's what I want us to do. Okay, so to the nearest hundredth. Nearest hundredth is right here. Okay, so we're going to round this up because that is 5 or bigger, so we should be at 0 0.14. And that is our last example for today. So we'll be talking about more of this tomorrow.